Hey guys, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy and I want to kick off 2023 with my first luxury haul. When I visited my essay recently, she gave me holiday cookies in the shape of a horse. Those of you who celebrate Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year will know exactly what these are. These are red envelopes. You basically put money inside and you give it to children. There's a little wheel right here. You can turn it so that it would change to the different animal which is so so fun and super whimsical so you've got the little bunny because it's gonna be the year of the bunny triple bunnies super cute envelope really thick paper even changed their little logo here temporarily to a little rabbit instead of the horse my two nieces on my husband's side i promised him i would shout out to them so hi ava and hi emma ava who is only 11 years old she's super talented and she sang at one of the oilers nhl game the national anthems for both countries so super amazing so shout out to those girls hi girls let's keep going with the haul these ones the moment i saw them i was like oh my goodness i have to get them because my nephew who is like my favorite little human <laughs> he's the first baby in my family that i really saw grow up since birth anyway when i saw these i thought of him right away i did not even know that birkenstock make these um oh my god <laughs> so yes these are birkenstocks um rain boots which is perfect for vancouver and they are so darling they are yellow they're really really lightweight birkenstocks are known for their sandals that mold to the sole of your feet so um i'm guessing that these will be similar hopefully but anyway i just saw these in his favorite color which is yellow so i had to get them obviously because i got them for my nephew i had to get them for my niece as well because they're siblings and can't just get it for one child so i got also for my little niece and these are so darling you know what these are made in germany so i'm glad that i found these on farfetch because these are just perfect this video is in collaboration with farfetch which means that i have a new coupon code to share with you guys i love the fact that farfetch has access to so many different brands because they basically source them from all over the world from all the boutiques that would carry the stock i even visited my canadian birkenstock site and they only carried the dark navy color but they didn't have the yellow and they didn't have the lilac the yellow is just so super awesome i know he'll be super excited so i hope it fits him like i said before i love that farfetch carries so many different brands from contemporary to high-end and their pricing are also very competitive plus if you use my coupon code you save more money so why not anyway the garment that i'm going to show you here is what i'm wearing already so i am experimenting with more brands that i haven't tried before i wanted to buy a few more sweaters for winter time but that are transitional wear too it is almost february so it's it's still cold but it will get warm eventually especially in vancouver we do get spring earlier than the rest of canada so i wanted things that are still warm that are also not so thick this company is known for making clothes that are skin like in fact i have another piece right here they call it skin wear it skims the body in a really good way and they make it so well so this piece right here which is what i'm wearing is in this like olive color and as you can see on the model um, it's just got this really nice shape you see here how thin it is but it's so warm because it has a bit of a high neck and a little cutout right here which is super cute and it just hugs you all in the right places and it's breathable and it's really beautiful remember when I talked about my worst purchases and I talked about how some of the pieces I found really hard to style so I wanted to buy things that would not only work for the rest of my wardrobe that are easy to incorporate but that would also kind of complement this one I'm actually falling in love with this brand it's so well made this one is actually made of viscose polyester blend but it's the same concept it's also their skin wear as you can see it's got that nice rib texture as well and this one has more of a mid-weight fabric I think it's a little heavier this one is definitely more lightweight plainer design as well it's just straight line and kind of on the longer side as well but because of the fabric which is not wool it actually is cooler whereas wool actually traps your heat more uh which 
I love both. It's just, this is just a little bit more simple, classic, long lines. This is another brand that I thought I would try, but I was mostly just attracted to the pattern. And I love the fact that it's just more transitional wear. It has more of a crop style sleeve, um, but it's still a really good material. So this is actually a wool cotton blend, which is amazing because it's so comfortable. I love cotton because it's so much softer on the skin somehow, but wool also keeps you warm. So it's got both really, really great properties. And this is just a classic striped shirt. So these are actually from a brand called APC, which turns out to be a French label that um, just makes con great contemporary classics. Their designs are simple, but effective, easy to layer, uh, great material. So I got it in both colors. I got it the in the, the white and blue stripe and the navy and white stripe. So both of these are super easy to wear, super flattering. I actually wore these pieces so much already. Another brand that I also kind of stumbled upon, this brand right here, it's called Basse Orange. I kind of fell in love with this brand because they make these ethereal garments that are sort of effortless. Like it's so carefree, like the style is so carefree and sort of almost edgy in a way, but in a carefree way. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, and they also do a lot of organic materials. To me, they give off that sweatshirt vibe because of the drop shoulders and um, kind of like that cotton look, but it's definitely a sweater and it has these ties in the back. So it's got that crisscross tie and it's just so flattering. Just look up this brand's website and I'm telling you like their, their clothing, even the models that they use, they're just models from all kinds of body shapes. I'm kind of like loving how they dress all the models of different size and dif different ages and you can sort of see how the same garment will look on everybody. I also decided to get another jacket but um, or coat but in a more brighter red-ish color. So this is actually fuchsia but it actually looks quite red and even online it looks quite red from a little boutique in Italy. So this one is from one of my favorite brands, Tagliatore. You guys already know that I'm a big fan of this brand. So nice and soft. Tagliatore is known for their tailoring and the, the beautiful materials that they use. I already own a cashmere coat from, from them last year. It's the gray one. And then this time I decided to go for a color. So I went for this simple three button, drop shoulders, slightly oversized, side pockets, and fully lined. Okay. One more thing from Farfetch. <laughs> of course, I had to get more Longchamp. Um, anyway, I won't spend too much time talking about these bags, but I will talk about the colors. I was resisting getting them. Eventually, I just had to have it because I'm like, why not? Why not, right? So this time I went for my usual perfect top handle, small size le pillage. So this is my favorite size of all times. For me, this is the perfect size tote. It's not too big. I don't really need a big tote on the daily anyway. And it fits everything I possibly need. Sometimes I can even fit some small shopping items in there. A lot of these brands are conscious brands. These Longchamp le pliage are made of recycled nylon, which is great. And then because I love this color so much, I wanted to get something else. I have the old, old version of their cosmetic pouch, but not the new one. So I thought, why not try the new one? These are so affordable. They are completely wipeable on the inside. So it can be a cosmetic pouch for me or it can also be travel clutch or a bag inside a bag that I can grab and go into a store. Just to show you, it definitely fits a phone. So I do have a very tiny phone, but it fits a lot. This is my first time buying a timepiece from Hermes and there is a bit of a story with this one. It is a special order. So it's not a piece that you will be able to buy off of their website or in their retail store because they they are exclusive to their custom watches. So I will be doing the whole unboxing try on and talk you through the whole experience so that maybe next time they have the same event uh, near your store, then you will have a better idea of how this works. Like I said, it's sort of something that I bought a while ago back in June 2022, depending on 
which city it is in like a bigger city will have the event for a lot longer when i went it was by invite only and it was the very first time that canada had um a custom watch event so okay let's unbox it because it's so heavy so it comes in this big box big big orange box just like that and it kind of slides out okay and so the inside the user manual and it just sits in the bottom of this orange box there is like a little piece of microfiber material it's a wooden box it's quite heavy and it opens like so to reveal so my watch is not closed because it's too short right now because i did have to send it back to remove quite a few links so these are the extra links but yeah it's kind of like a pretty hefty box so this is the nantucket watch in the small model which is the 29 millimeter stainless steel mother of pearl dial two diamonds and also i have my name engraved at the back let me just show you the closure which is like that so that's one end of the closure the other end of the closure is like that and this one um you kind of slide the other end through here and then close it like that and it has Elma's engraving on it. Here is the back customization. As you see, I put my name there, Amy. And then you see there's the uh, symbol, which is the Shendong symbol. There is a limit of character. So I wasn't able to put my married name, but I was able to put my maiden name. So I have my full uh, maiden name first and last. Let me just put it on first so that we can continue talking about the customization so this watch is really pretty the only complaint that i have about this is that it's a little challenging to put on by yourself how it looks like on me and as you see the watch is actually much much bigger than my wrist and i did that on purpose which is the reason why i went with the stainless steel chain bracelet because i wanted it to look like a bracelet i wanted it to almost look like jewelry so that i could um, basically wear it as a as a timepiece that tells time but that also um, can basically com complement the jewelry that I have on this hand already which are essentially all platinum go up and down the wrists and just kind of lay like jewelry especially when I have my hands down like this so while I was at my first custom watch experience uh, and it was the first time that they did it in canada like i mentioned earlier uh, the choices were kind of limited and i think they have been limited in the past and they've only slowly expanded and what i mean by limited is that you don't get a lot of choice of watch designs they basically didn't have all of the models of watches available to to be custom made and also not all the sizes as well they did it for both men and women in any case i was only interested in three designs at the time anyway which is already most of them so i was between the nantucket or the cape cod and the Ur ash in fact the Ur ash i was really attracted to it when i was browsing online but when i tried it on i thought that it looked a bit dated so I quickly just scratched that the Cape Cod being a more of a not oversized but a bigger watch and at the time I just wanted this timepiece to be kind of a piece of jewelry so I didn't go with the Cape Cod but I do like the Cape Cod a lot once I decided on the Nantucket the things that I was able to customize was either go with stainless steel or rose gold. I just stuck with stainless steel because the price point, but also because I wanted just to match the platinum rings that I had. After you choose the color of the watch, then you can choose which kind of band you want from an exotic to a regular band, I think. And by regular, I mean like swift leather, those, those kinds. And they will be priced accordingly. Metal bracelet is... A little bit more than the leather bands uh, i don't remember for sure if it was more or less than the exotic bands the face of the watch so i just went with the plain again the plain stainless steel 
but you could also get the one with uh, diamonds encrusted on the side. And then you also customize the dial. They were all different price points. And because I was trying to just match with kind of that white gold platinum theme, I just went with Mother of Pearl because that's kind of like the cleanest look. If you had chosen rose gold or if you had chosen the um the the watch face with diamonds i wonder if you would have more choices of dials i that's something that i don't know i knew that i didn't want to go over a certain budget uh because this was not my permanent watch and this is also not a timepiece that is like a rolex or a cartier tank collectible watches for me this is almost buying a piece of jewelry to me this is how i felt at the time i was buying this because i wanted the experience and of course there is the pre-spend aspect so that was back in june the day that i did my customization uh, i paid in full and it was just about waiting for the watch to arrive so the watch arrived eventually a few months later i think mine took about four or five months and because it comes with uh, all the links it was really really big the the watch literally rolled off of my hands and so i had quite a few links removed total of five links removed that alone took another month so those of you who follow my videos religiously would know or maybe have heard that i have pretty small arms and wrists and therefore i opted for this choice of bracelet for that reason because i knew that even if i got the regular watch with the leather band, I would still have to punch extra holes, which is no problem. But I thought, why not just get the bracelet look? Because it's going to be like a two-in-one for me. It basically acts as another piece of jewelry on my arm. But I have some thoughts about this now, uh, especially now that I've had the watch for a little bit. Uh, I got it back recently. I did think that it was a little annoying to have to put it on uh, it's not something that you can do quickly so you can't be in a rush and put this watch on that's something that i thought i would mention so that you can make an even more informed decision because i think in retrospect if i could go back in time i would just do the leather bracelet because i would rather be able to wear my watch quickly uh, even though it won't be a jewelry slash time piece in a sense because yes i enjoyed that aspect and that was the original idea i wanted to get a you know like a chain bracelet so that it can look like jewelry but most of the time i am just wearing my apple watch anyway so i feel like buying a piece of jewelry to add to the apple watch would make even more sense than getting a watch that looks like jewelry in fact i would rather this be a leather bracelet so that i can wear it quickly on the days that i want to dress up and still be able to wear another piece of jewelry to complement it so that's my two cents and that's something that i can't go back i do like this watch a lot i think it's really pretty i am very happy with the customizations that i made and i'm really happy with the choices of color and material except for the watch band the only thing i wish i did is um gotten the regular watch band because yeah, it would have been so much easier because I'm going to show you how I like how I have to. OK, removing it is super easy. You would have to open the clasp and if I just pull it, it comes off. But in order to put it back, it's quite challenging because you have to use this to basically align the two pieces with one hand. You have to click it in place and then close this part. So um, it's much harder to do on yourself when um, you have like literally one hand to do it. Another thing that I did like about this bracelet being a little bit oversized, at least originally that's my intention, is that when I'm wearing long sleeves that are quite long, like this one, well this one's not so long, but sometimes my sleeves are quite long in the winter, um, that the watch would just go over the sleeve and it's quite pretty. I really think that this look is quite nice. And I like that. But yeah, these sleeves are not too long, so it's fine. Will I do another watch? I'm not sure, but I think if I were to do one, I would do a Cape Cod since I already have the Nantucket. I would probably just do the Cape Cod in a regular leather. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this watch on me? What do you think? And do you like that it's moving a lot? Or should I make it more like a watch size? Like just make it 
stationary on my on my wrist. What do you think? Because then I have to remove at least. I don't think I can remove two. Oh, do I have to remove two? No, I think I just need to remove another link. So a total of six links. That's a lot. That's like destroying so many links. Let me know what was your favorite part of this first 2023 haul. For me, for sure, are the little boots. I think they're adorable. Don't forget to check out Farfetch. I'll have all the items that I featured linked down below. And of course, you can use my coupon code to save more at checkout. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also host members only live streams and I would love for you to join. I'll have all the links down below. Thank you so much again and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. I'm